Okay, our objective today is I can organize a paragraph to respond to a prompt. So your goal is to write a paragraph with me. We're going to share the writing today. Our goal is to be able to score higher on our rubric and get more points for our writing. Organization is something that we've been working on. So we're going to continue to work on organizing our writing. We're going to be reflective and find ways to be better. So stop and think about what your writing goal is right now. Many of you have set a writing goal and you know what you want to do to improve your writing. Let's focus on that as we do our writing together today. We're working on self-management skills to organize our writing. Before we get started, we're going to begin writing a first grade paragraph. Let's remember how to form a paragraph. Form, form, what is it like? A paragraph is always five sentences for first grade. A topic sentence, the first big idea, the next big idea, the last big idea, and a closing sentence. The topic and the closing are the main idea, what it's mostly about. and tells the reader what they're going to be learning about as they read. Now, I'm going to turn to our story today. We are going to be reading, uh, listening to a story about chrysanthemum. After listening to the story chrysanthemum, we're going to write a paragraph telling about all the reasons why chrysanthemum liked her name. So normally we're retelling the whole story, but not this time. This time we're going to be writing about why she liked um, her name. So, we're going to put in our main idea circle here, name. We want to tell all about why she liked her name. We're not just writing about everything that happened. We're writing why she liked her name. So, as we listen to the story today, we're going to be taking notes about why Chrysanthemum liked her name. So, let's get down to our story. We're going to be listening to it on YouTube together. And we'll be taking notes together on why she liked her name. Let's listen. The Mum by Kevin Hinkies. The day she was born was the happiest day in her parents' lives. She's perfect, said her mother. Absolutely, said her father. And she was. She was absolutely perfect. Her name must be everything she is, said her mother. Her name must be absolutely perfect, said her father. And it was Chrysanthemum. Her parents named her Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum grew and grew and grew. And when she was old enough to appreciate it, Chrysanthemum loved her name. She loved the way it sounded when her mother woke her up. Well, let's remember that part. She loved her name because she loved the way it sounded when her mother woke it, woke her up. So we're going to put the word sound, segment sound. Sound. Ow is O-U. Sound. She loved the sound of her name. Pause the video if you need more time to copy that for yourself. She loved the way it sounded when her father called her for dinner. And she loved the way it sounded when she whispered it to herself in the bathroom mirror. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. All of those things are about what it sounded like. So I'm going to keep that as my notes. It sounded, it sounded great. Chrysanthemum loved the way her name looked when it was written with ink on an envelope. She loved the way it looked when it was written with icing on her birthday cake. And she loved the way it looked when she wrote it herself with her fat orange crayon. Okay, so she likes the way it sounds, but she also likes the way it looks. So I'm going to write the word looks, segment looks. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh, oh, oh, digraph is two letters coming together to make one sound. Ooh, uh, she likes the way it sounds. Oops, I'm going to add an S. She likes the way it looks. Pause the video if you need to finish writing that. Chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. 
Chrysanthemum thought her name was absolutely perfect. And then she started school. On the first day, Chrysanthemum wore her sunniest dress and her brightest smile. She ran all the way. Hooray, said Chrysanthemum. School! But when Mrs. Chud took roll call, everyone giggled upon hearing Chrysanthemum's name. It's so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on your name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. You're named after a flower. Now these are all things that are not very nice from her classmates. Do you think these are reasons why Chrysanthemum likes her name? No, I don't either, so I'm not going to add it to my notes. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and informed Mrs. Chud that Chrysanthemum's name was spelled with 13 letters. That's exactly half as many letters as there are in the entire alphabet, Victoria explained. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. If I had a name like yours, I'd change it, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. I wish I could, thought Chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag, and I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said her mother. Your name is beautiful, and precious, and priceless, and fascinating, and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup, and an evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. That night Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria, as Chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, a chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Chud. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said, as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I even look like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, pish, said her mother. They're just jealous. And envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better, after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, and another evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. 
Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flowers seemed to say. That morning, the students were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. Mrs. Twinkle led the students in scales. Then she assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as the dainty fairy queen. Rita was chosen as the spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important pixie messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum's a daisy, chrysanthemum's a daisy. Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous? asked Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I'm named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. My name is Lung, said Mrs. Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is Delphinium, Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering Chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum could scarcely believe her ears. She blushed, she beamed, she bloomed. Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum, Chrysanthemum. Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Marigold, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. Okay, we're going to add that, but she thought her name was absolutely perfect. Er, combination E-R, er, at, perfect. She likes the way it sounds, the way it looks, and that it's perfect. She also likes her name because the music teacher likes her name. Let's break apart the sounds in music. Mm, you, it, Mm. You it music. All right, let's finish our story. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. Chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Chrysanthemum thought it was wildly funny, and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl, and of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. All right, we are ready to organize our rhyming. We have all the reasons why Chrysanthemum liked her name. So let's go ahead and organize. If you need to pause the video so that you can finish getting ready for organizing. Our topic is name. Why is Chrysanthemum liked her name? Our first big idea was that she liked the way it sounds. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause. The next big idea, she liked her name because she likes the way that it looks. The last big idea is that she thought it was absolutely perfect. I'm just copying from my notes, so I don't have to segment them again. 
My closing matches my topic, the main idea of reasons why she liked her name. If you need to take a moment to pause your video so that you can finish writing and copying our plan together, please do that. Don't let me rush you. If you are ready, we're going to go ahead and use our colors to color code our green topic in closing and our three yellow big ideas. You might not be able to see it very well on mine. My yellow is not very colorful, not very bright. All right, my topic sentence needs to be about why Chrysanthemum likes her name. So we won't say the topic is, we don't start that way, but if it's asking me in the prompt, what are reasons why she liked her name, we would say she liked her name for many reasons. Say it with me. She liked her name for many reasons. That's what we're writing all about. Capital at the beginning for she, a sight word that we know. Finger space between, oh, I, like is a sight word we know. If I want to say liked, meaning it already happened, I add a D for suffix ED. She liked, finger space between, her, er, finger space, name, she liked her name for finger space many finger space reasons period at the end she liked her name for many reasons now i know mine looks a little different today because i'm propping it up so that you see better yours should be written in your journal like we always do this is my topic it matches my plan she liked her name for many reasons. Remember, I'm going a little quickly, but you can always press the pause button on your, cam on your recording so that you can slow down and catch up with me. I know sometimes I write a little quicker. I'll keep going because that must mean you've pressed play. First sounds. Now I can't write first sounds. That doesn't make any sense. I need a complete sentence. So I might say, first, she liked the way it sounds. First, she likes the way it sounds. Seven words. Capital for first at the beginning of a sentence. First, comma, finger space, she, like, if I wanted to say likes, I add an S at the end. First, she likes the way. A. I know that A Y makes the A sound. First, she likes the way it sounds. I'm copying that from my plan. Period. At the end. First, she likes the way it sounds, period. I'm coding it with yellow to match my plan. Remember to press pause so that you can catch up with my writing. You don't have to go fast like me. Now, if I look at my plan, I have a topic. I have a first big idea. Now I'm ready for next. Next is about the way it looks. Next, she likes the way it looks. Starting with next. Next, she likes the way it looks. Seven words again. Capital at the beginning. Next, comma. She likes. The way 
it looks, period, at the end. Next, she likes the way it looks. Remember, you can pause so that you can write the sentence with me. Finger space between your words, capital only at the beginning, period, at the end of your sentence. Now, I'm going to check it off my plan. Now I'm ready for our last big idea. It says last perfect. So I need to write that in a complete sentence. Last, her name was perfect. Say it with me. Last, her name was perfect. Write it with me, starting with a capital for last, comma, her name, finger space between, was perfect, period at the end, last. Her name was perfect. We'll underline that with yellow again to match our plan. All I'm missing now is a closing sentence. Our closing sentence will look a lot like our topic. Our topic was she liked her name for many reasons. We use a transition word as you can see. She liked her name for many reasons. Capital at the beginning. As you can see, comma, as you can see, she liked her name. I think we're going to stop it right there. She liked her name. As you can see, she liked her name. Green to match our topic. We have completed our, our writing, but we never stop right there. We always go back to check. So pause the video if you're still writing. Press play when you're ready to check your work. Use a blue crayon so that we can check our capital letters. Capital letters should only come at the beginning of the sentence. She, capital at the beginning, she liked her name for many reasons, period. If you found another capital letter, change it and fix it to lowercase. There should be no other capitals there. First, beginning of the sentence. First, she likes the way it sounds. Circle. Next, she likes the way it looks. Last, her name was perfect. As you can see, she liked her name. If you have other capital letters, there should not be others. You will need to use your eraser and change those capitals to lowercase. Now you'll need your orange. With your orange, we're going to look for our periods at the ends of the sentences. Not at the ends of the lines, at the end of our sentence. So we have to read. Put your finger on the first word. She liked her name for many reasons. Period. First, she likes the way it sounds. Period. Next, she likes the way it looks. Period. Last, she her name was perfect. Period. As you can see, she liked her name. Period. All right, now the last thing we're going to do is read through it to make sure it makes sense. Fingers on the first word, read with me. She liked her name for many reasons. First, she liked the way it sounds. 
Next, she likes the way it looks. Last, her name was perfect. As you can see, she liked her name. All right, we are finished with our paragraph. You may take a picture of it and send it to me on Class Dojo.